thought you'd be at the stables. Nope. Right here. If you're looking for Mama, she's in town. No, I came to get Faith, and then I was going to pick up Luke from school. Faith is napping. Oh. If you want, I'll bring her by later. If that's okay. I, it's fine if it's okay with you. Why wouldn't it be okay with me? She's my child. I know that I've asked a lot of you lately, and I know I didn't give you a lot of notice when I asked you to pick up the kids from Lucinda's, but my life is very chaotic right now. Yeah, Lucinda mentioned something about that to me. She said Simon was being deported. But he wasn't uh, deported. He managed to avoid it. Really? Mm. How'd he do that? By marrying a U.S. citizen. <laughs> what? And you were expecting this? Yes and no. Wait a minute. I think I'm missing something here. I, I don't expect you to understand, and I don't understand myself. So you and Simon are through? Not exactly. Lily, you just told me the guy got married. The person that insisted that he get married is me. Uh, Lily, it's me. I've been trying to reach you all day. I, I need to talk to you. I, uh, the look on your face when I left the ceremony last night, I, I just want to, I just want to hold you, um, tell you how much you mean to me, and, and just call me, okay, please. Hey, how do you mind? Did you miss me? Hey, uh, what's all this? Oh, just a big surprise, and there's plenty more in the car if you're good. You were gone when I got up this morning. I thought maybe you'd change your mind about this crazy scheme and. Headed for the hills. Oh, no. You want to hear something that my fourth grade teacher once wrote about me? Neither earthquake, tidal wave, nor gale force winds can deter little Miss Peretti from her goal. Her name was Mrs. Daniels, just in case Halloween. So what's, what's, what's in the bags? Christmas presents? Maybe, but it's all for us. Now that, that color for dress? Yeah, that really suits you. Uh, no, silly curtains. Well, if they match the paint to keep out prying eyes, you know? Oh, and satin sheets for sleeping, or not. And we can have afternoon tea together. But the best part, my favorite, is... La 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 la. Katie, Katie, I thought... The... Oh, leave the thinking to me, Simon. My first task as Mrs. Simon Fraser is to turn that humble apartment into a real home. Will the spirit of Victoria McKinnon make herself known? trying to do to me. What's going on? What are, you what are you talking about? Okay? What, what's going on? Jolene, wake up. It was Vicky. She was here. Jolene. She called out my name when I opened my eyes. Vicky was oh, sitting Jolene. there. Madame Jolene was gone, and Vicky was sitting oh. in her place. I swear, Jake, I swear on a stack of a million Jolene. Bibles on everything that means anything to me. Jolene. Thank God. What happened? Well, there's a lot of different opinions about what no, happened. No, Vicky right was now. here, and this time when she talked to me, I could hear her. You fainted, and, and, and we didn't know what happened. All right, let's stay calm. Let's stay calm. 
We don't need to disturb the spirit world with our fear. But what happened to you? It takes massive energy to raise myself to the astral plane, and I sometimes lose consciousness. It's, it's not a problem. I'll be fine. But we're going to get to see Victoria again. Did right? you remember to thank Vicky for appearing? No. We didn't know we had to do that. It's very important after a spirit manifests to tell it to go in peace. But we didn't do that. You know something? You were, you were passed out, so we sort of forgot that part. Why would we need to do that? Most spirits go through a difficult ordeal in trying to reach us. What? what Mrs. Is... McKinnon may refuse to come when you call her again. Just because we didn't say goodbye to her, you mean we may have pushed her away forever? We, we, we have to see Victoria again. We didn't see her this time. I did. And she was real as any of us in this room. And nothing anybody does or says can change my mind about that. Motley, before you do anything else, you must write down everything you remember. Tomorrow, this will all seem like a dream. Keeping a log will reassure you that this really occurred. Tell me again exactly what you saw. Vicky was here. Donna, and she talked to me. What did she say? She, she called my name, and then she said, you can hear me, can't you? Do you think Madame Jolene is right? Do you think th that, that Victoria's not going to return? No, Vicky wants something from me. Something very important. I am sure she'll be back. Good. I believe you. I didn't see my wife. I didn't see anything, I didn't hear anything, and I didn't feel anything, except I felt stupid. As far as I'm concerned, nothing happened. Victoria? Victoria? Are you trying to reach us again? Vicky? If that's you, please give us a sign. <laughs> Excuse me. Just someone at the door. Oh. How is that for magic? Now, for my next trick, I'm going to walk unassisted over to the front door. We heard you the first time. Amazing. What took you so long? We have incredible news. You are not going to believe this. Look, Molly and I are, are coming Wait, right uh, now. So then could you, Jake, could you just come, come early for a candlelight dinner? <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you guys having a seance? No, we're just actually kind of in the middle of our own version of Nightmare on Elm Street. Huh? Why don't you take her to a movie? Um, we actually brought our own. And it's better than any Elm Street thing can ever offer you. This is, this is really, really not a, not a good time. Um, Jake, this proves that Molly isn't seeing things. Vicky's ghost is real. So the INS was breathing down Simon's neck, thanks to my mother, and they were going to send him back to Australia on a plane last night, so we had to think... Do you really want to hear this? Yeah, I think I better. It affects me, too. We were getting down to the wire, so we had to think of something. And Simon, he was okay with all this. Well, he was already there at the courthouse, getting ready to get married when the INS found him. But he wouldn't have done it if I had told him not to. You must want Simon to stick around pretty badly in order to put up with all this. Nothing has changed with Simon and me. It's, it's just that he needs a green card to stay in the country. <laughs> Who's the lucky woman? Katie. Katie? Isn't Katie Peretti? How did she get involved in this? I can answer that. I'm so excited to start painting. I'm going to blank this place home in no time. Katie, now. When my mom and I would move into a new town, we would always end up moving into some dump, you know, peeling paint and garbage all over the floor. But we would feel sorry for ourselves for like a minute, and then we'd get started. I would run over and get a couple cans of paint and buy some plants from the grocery store. And by the time Mom was through with her gig and uh, the sun came up, she wouldn't even recognize it. I didn't realize that was the way you grew up. No, it was fun. We had so much fun most of the time. We even had this little joke that every new place we moved into had to have a new color of paint. I think the last place we were in was Chartreuse. Okay, okay Katie, listen, listen. Listen, I, I understand how important it is for you to fix this place up, but 
You know what? We really just have to sit down and talk about how we're going to make this work. I already okay. thought about that. In fact, I made a list. Item number one, make Simon's apartment a home. That is already being taken care of quite well, I might add. Number two, go away for a few days. What? Why? Agent Howell said he's going to be watching us like a hawk. Don't you think a honeymoon will make him believe that this marriage is real? <laughs> no. No, I can't afford a trip. I... Look, I don't even know how I'm going to pay for all of this. Item number three, get Simon a new career. This whole mechanic <laughs> thing is totally hey. beneath you, especially the way you play guitar. What, the other night at the Java Underground? I was fooling around. Don't be so modest. Look, my mom has tons of contacts in the music industry. If I start making calls today, I can have you tons of whoa, gigs. Whoa, Katie! No, whoa! I'm just getting started. No, I mean stop. You have to stop this. All of it, okay? Right now. Barbara? Bar... Oh. Didn't see you so dark in here. Hate these short December days. Pretty grim. You're home early. Well, I finished everything I had to do at the station, and, uh... I was hoping maybe you'd have some time. Yeah, well... Beats trying to figure out what to do with a cut-up chicken that I haven't done 4,000 times before. Ah, who says you have to be original, baked, boiled, fricasseed? <laughs> Not easy, is it? Two careers, four kids, one room. Piece of cake. Sometimes it's hard to find a minute to talk, even when it's important. Well, we only have a half an hour now. Will's going to be home, and somehow I have to come to terms with this chicken. Well, you said something the other night, and I just can't get it out of my head. You said that you were beginning not to care what I think about what you do. Look, Hal, I don't, don't want to argue, okay? It, it's not an argument, Barbara. It's just a question. If you don't care what I think about you, what on earth has become of our marriage? We were so sure that we were going to get it right this time. Well, you know what, Hal? We're both driven, passionate people. Loyal to the extreme, intense. You forgot, stubborn. And both used to calling the shots. What makes this exciting? Sometimes, sometimes not. And lately not. Look, I know, I know that you are very angry because of the lengths that I went to to get that photograph of Julia and Winston Lowe. I'm sure it seems like I'm more loyal to her than I am to you. That's not what gets me. Then what is it? The way you go running to Craig Montgomery every chance you get, I'm beginning to think you trust him more than you trust me. You're a good man, Hal. You are, but you have blind spots, and those areas are not open to discussion or negotiation, and you cannot see that perhaps Craig Montgomery is a ruthless businessman, but he is a legitimate businessman trying to get a foothold in this town again, and there's nothing in the law against that. And is there a law against you seeing things my way, Barbara? The man is under investigation by the Oakdale police, an investigation that I am in charge of, and suddenly my wife is his best friend. Do you know what that looks like? Do you know what that feels like? You know, he has shown me nothing but kindness and consideration. He has, he has put himself out for a friend of mine. He has gone to his son on our daughter's behalf. And he is funny and he is bright. And I know that's what gets to you. Because maybe someone else can make me smile and even make me laugh. You know, I still have... Uh some principles, Barbara. I still have a code that I really try to live by. If I start compromising now, what do I have left? Maybe your wife. And maybe your family. You 
sit there. I am so grateful to you that you wanted to help me stay in the US. I really am. But you are letting this marriage business get a little out of hand. Do you know what you and I are in this situation? We are flatmates, just roommates sharing a place together. That's it, nothing more. I haven't forgotten. The woman that I love, the woman I want to be with, is Lily. Uh, the only reason I live is to get back to her. I get the picture. That's great, because I just don't want you to go investing in this pretend life of ours. Because as soon as the INS is off my back, I plan on getting this, this marriage annulled, so we don't need any more twists. Okay, well, didn't you hear what Hallowell said? Two years. It could be up to two years before that happens, and that's a long time to be living in some crummy apartment, especially for trying to make them believe that this marriage is real. Don't you want to stay in the U.S.? Of course I do. I, I, I do. And, I, and if it wasn't for you, I would be halfway to Australia by now, but I just don't want any more discussions about, about honeymoons or, or about changing how I make a living. Okay. Fine. Good. Fine. Um... But I already bought all this stuff, put the paint and everything. I can still do that, That's right? fine. Of course you can. And, and, and as soon as you're ready, I will help you with the heavy things. Okay, great. Can you bring me the ladder, too? Sure thing. All right. You are going to love this paint. It's going to make it look so good. So I go down to the garage. I'm looking for Simon, right? I knock on the window one of those cars he's working on. A real, real beauty, let me tell you. And the top is up. How did you know that he was in there? Well, the windows were all fogged up. And he wasn't working on the defroster, neither, let me tell you. So, imagine my surprise. The top goes down. Simon and Katie, they're scurrying around, looking for their clothes, like Adam and Eve looking for fig leaves. Thanks for sharing. All I'm saying is I know girls like that. They put their head in the sand. I didn't peg you as one of those. Simon already told me about it. It was a one-night stand, and it only happened... Well, it doesn't matter now why it happened. No? Because I think we're talking about more than one night here now. Isn't it more like, till death do us part? This is a marriage of convenience, so that Simon isn't deported. Oh, yeah. And it's real, real convenient. You know, Rose, this is difficult enough as it is. Could you please just leave it alone? <laughs> oh, Lily, I'm, uh... uh... What brings you out here, Rose? Uh, I, 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 I just came over to thank you for introducing me to Denise Maynard. We're gonna open that school for kids. You're the staying dance school. in Oakdale? Yeah. Yeah, I thought I'd give it a shot. This day has just gone from bad to worse. I've got to get out of here. Actually, I need to leave myself. Maybe you can stay here in case Faith wakes up since Mom's Wait a minute, home. I thought you were going to stay here with Faith and then take her back to the house. I just remembered that I need to meet with this breeder today. I made an appointment. It's getting kind of late. Look, I, I can't cancel with the guy because I already canceled on him once when you asked me to pick up the kids at your mother's. Don't cancel. I'll stay. Good. Tell the kids I'll give them a call before they go to bed. See you, Rose. Yeah, see you around. You can go, too. You know, I shouldn't have said all that about... I don't want to imply that Simon's taking you for a ride because he had to marry somebody else. It's just... Uh, don't worry about it. I got a big mouth, right? coming down pretty hard on me lately and then started thinking you know maybe they aren't the problem I owe you an apology Lily it's so good to finally meet you you look so much like your mother <laughs> oh oh sorry I didn't mean to say the dreaded phrase oh no, no, what I mean is that I, I only hope to look half as good as she does when I'm her age. You are already a thousand times more beautiful than I am. Hey, you guys, this is uh, Madame Jolene. She's a medium. A medium? Wow, I've never met a medium before. This is so cool. Yes, yeah, she walks, she talks, she even faints on cue. Now, are, are you a clairvoyant or a clairsentient? You see, clairvoyants, they can uh -huh. see spirits, and clairsentients, they can sort of feel them. Spirits make themselves known to me in many different ways. Sometimes they even use my own energy to appear. <laughs> You, do you mean they materialize? Do you know how rare it is? Madam Jolene, didn't you say that you had another appointment, I don't know, way, way across town oh, over there? Oh, no, um, wait. Molly, Adam recorded something you just can't, have can't to that see. Wait. What is it? 
Uh, remember the other day when we were in there watching the VCR and you guys came home? Right, I remember. And then you guys said you weren't going to tape anything else? Yeah. Well, um, after we were gone, did, did, did you have another encounter with Vicky's ghost? How did you know that? Molly, Adam's video camera was still recording. I, I called, I, I told Jake. I, I, I forgot to turn it off. It shows you were talking to someone. It recorded everything. I'm gonna get to see Victoria? Adam, where's that videotape? We need to see it now. Oh, it's a good thing I happen to have it right here. <sighs> You want a cup? Hmm? No. Actually, I could use the caffeine. I, I didn't sleep much last night. Do you put the cinnamon in the coffee grounds? In yeah. The yeah, 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 yeah. It's something a trick my mom taught me. It takes the bitterness out. When I got back from the island, I noticed that Holden was doing the same thing. Must have picked it up from you. That's what I want to apologize to you for, you know. All the time I spend in your kitchen and your house and your family and... pretending to be you. So, did Lucinda put you up to this? What did she bribe you with? I guess you expect something like that from me, I know. But no, this is my apology. Mine alone. And come on, face it, Lily. Lucinda can't force either one of us to do something we don't want to do. True. By the way, I've been kicked out of the Walsh compound. Yeah, staying in a motel, right next door to my pop. It's kind of those uh, musty toweled, you know, cigarette crushed in the carpet kind of places. Oh. But maybe it, I needed that, you know? Maybe I need to lose Lucinda's Orientals and trade them in for the, uh, the cigarette in the carpet place to be slapped into reality. Anyways. I truly believe that you never wanted to be found last summer. I'll tell you, but that doesn't excuse the big lies that I told to good people. If I told Holden what I knew, then maybe he could have gone to find you and before you could fall in love with Simon. But if I hadn't slept with Holden, then maybe the two of you could have worked things out. Maybe our lives wouldn't be in such a mess right now. All I can say is the stuff that was going on in my head had absolutely nothing to do with you, nothing. I thought I was the only one that was hurting, but I was wrong, because I hurt you, and I hurt Holden, and I hurt your beautiful kids. And for that, I truly am sorry for that. I'm gonna go. Oh, Rose, don't go. Not yet. Brought you a wedding present. So you've heard the news? Yeah. Lily told me. Look, I uh, really don't need anything from you. Oh, you might just change your mind. Because if anybody has the goods on life with Katie, it's me. So maybe you and I should share a drink, and I'll tell you exactly what you're in for. Okay, all I, all I, all I see is Molly. Go to Jake, maybe. Yeah, you're talking, but, but there's nobody there. Um, just wait one minute. See, right there, do you see? Oh, my God. Abigail, Adam, you guys are geniuses. I, I, you, don't, you, you don't see anything. I don't either. Give me that. Let me rewind it. You saw it, didn't you? Well, Madam Joanne sees all. Okay, watch. Maybe he can hear you. Okay, right there. See? Oh, my God. It was Vicky. Vicky is the one drawing on the mirror and the lipstick. She was right in front of me, Jake. I don't know if you understand how much the spirit of Mrs. McKinnon is risking in order to communicate with what us. What do you mean risking? It takes enormous effort for a ghost to move objects in the physical plane. She seemed really weak. My girl needs me, and I don't know what I can do. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. 
thank you so much for all of your services, but I think the only thing we're doing here is stirring things up, and we don't need that. So why don't you, why don't you come with me, and I'll, and I'll walk you to your car. Jake, don't huh? send her away. Let's try the seance again, please. Yes, Jake, please. Yeah, you know, we'll have a much better chance with all of us here. She can use all of our energy. You know... She's very tired, and right before you came, she had it. She had it. She had a, a, a vapor attack, and you need to save your energy for your next performance. Jake, it's all right, Molly. Mr. McKinnon's negative energy would only interfere with the quality of our communication. Anyway, you still owe me my fee. I will write you a check in the parking lot. So why don't we propel our bodies through the ether and hit the asphalt? I don't know why he has to act like this. I, I hope he's not upset. He saw the tape. What, does he not believe his own eyes? If Jake doesn't want to believe something, he's not going to believe it. Doesn't matter what we do. I don't care what Jake thinks. I know what happened. I know what I feel. My daughter, Victoria, was here. Katie, buy these? This place, a speck of grease anywhere. Kitty again, right? That's how it all starts. She does things for you, little things. And then the favors, they begin to multiply. Get used to having her around. Can't do without her even. Especially when she bats those eyes and goes all helpless. <laughs> Great for the male ego. Yeah, I'm sure it could be. Funny thing is, is, you find yourself getting ticked off if anyone says anything against her. You like playing hero. She's so grateful for any crumb of praise that you give her. And just when your intuition tells you that she's bringing you down, you say to yourself, no, this is Katie. This is sweet, loyal, hardworking Katie who had such a rough life with that mother of hers. Which, by the way, she always makes sure that you know about. She did tell you about Lila, didn't she? Two gypsies against the world, making do with a few cans of stew and a hot plate. Yeah, I thought so. The upshot is, you don't want to be hard on little Katie after everything she's been through. You want to help her out. And one day you wake up, you take a look around, and you realize the toll that it's taken on your life. Somehow you manage to lose track of the things that meant the most to you. Why are you telling me any of this? I don't know. I sure as hell don't care what happens to you. Yeah, I'm sure you don't. Maybe it's because of Lily. I may lose my wife, but I still love her enough to make sure that Katie doesn't do this to her again. That won't happen. <laughs> That's what I said. Cheers, mate. The truth is that Hilda and I were having problems long before you and Simon came into the picture. Yeah? It is the truth. Alden would never admit it, but I would never have developed feelings for Simon otherwise. Am I going crazy? Are you letting me off the hook a little bit? Maybe. A little. Wow. You're a bigger person than I gave you credit for. I couldn't do that. Because us Italians, we created the word vendetta. Turns out I'm not Italian after all, anyway. I always want to go to Italy, you know? I want to go to Italy. I want to go down where my mama, her people are, you know, in their little town and say, hey, there's Anna Marie's little girl, and I finally feel like I was home. What? I remember when I found out that I was ad adopted, my whole world turned upside down. Everything went the wrong direction. Up was down, down was sideways, and I can honestly say I know exactly what you're feeling right now. I don't have it all figured out just yet. Let me let you know a little secret. When I was a little girl, I had a daydream about having a sister. A twin. A twin. These little girls in my grammar school, Ginger and Gigi, they were adorable. They dressed alike, they'd walk down the street together after school with their heads together, talking to each other, and I thought, if I had a twin, then I'd never be alone. You know, I might like that, you know. Being your sister, you know. Aunt Rose to your kids. 
I don't know how they'd feel about that. But... Luke always said that you were nice. He's a good kid. He is. He's adorable. You raised him good. Thank you. You know, we still have one major problem here. You're still in love with Holton. You're right. My pop's ready to kill me for falling for a married guy. Your father should talk to Cal. Who's Cal? That sounds so familiar. What? Uh, he's my... He's our grandfather, and he would be furious with me if he knew that I was spending time with Simon because he loves Holden. I tried to tell Pop. You can't help who you fall for. You know, Rose, when you're right, you're right. You know what's right? This. This, us talking like this. This is right. <laughs> I haven't felt like this, like myself in so long. This feels right. You know what? I'm going to prove it to you. I'm going to prove that my heart is in the right place. I'm going to back off Holton. I'm going to do that. And I'll do whatever you say. Just say the word. Well, I guess I have to ask you this. Is there more than just friendship between you and Montgomery? You know, I don't want to discuss that with you. But I will tell you that I have done nothing to feel guilty about. I can't help but think that this might be payback for the last few months when I blamed you for oh, Parker's accident. It's not payback. I, I, I am not keeping score, okay? I'm not. I, I, don't you see how we don't see eye to eye anymore? We can't be in a room together and have a discussion without someone finding fault. I wouldn't put it that way. See? How many times have we been to this same place before? Twice. Hi, Mom. Hi, honey. Hey, Will. Hey, girl, Molly. How are you, champ? How was school? Good. Good. We had an assembly, so we got out of all our afternoon classes. An assembly? Boy, I wish I had assemblies at work so I could get out of a few assignments. Speaking of assignments, young man, how much homework do you have? Not much. No? Well, it will be completed before you turn on the TV. You know that's going to happen, right? But... But, no buts. You heard your father, homework first, then relaxation. Okay, but it'll be done in, like, two minutes. Oh. <laughs> Can we have fried chicken for dinner? Oh, honey. But it's my favorite, and we never have it. Well, that's because your father's the one that fries hey. up the chicken. You want fried chicken? You got fried chicken. Yes. Fried chicken. I suppose that Jennifer and I will be having a salad. You gotta have a little piece. Fry up the feet. <laughs> Guess what? What? Uh, didn't we teach him how to use utensils? The Christmas tree lot at the church is open. Can we get our Christmas tree tonight? Well, you know, I think after we clog our arteries with fried chicken, we'll... We'll just go cut down a Christmas tree. Excellent. Do you really think we can pull off Christmas? I am not going to discuss this with the children before the holidays. Well, I wish we didn't have to discuss it at all. I wish it wasn't happening. last Christmas together, and then we, uh, find some way to break it to the kids. Tell them it's over. That is what we're saying, isn't it? That's what we're saying.
I lost my right to set conditions on Holden's life the day I asked Simon to stay here in town. I, I can't ask for him to wait around for me to change my mind again. So what I'm saying is that whatever happens between you and Holden is between you and Holden. Wow. I'm impressed. Maybe I was wrong about you being a tight ass. Be the next time you see me and I will tell you what I was going to say, maybe. <laughs> but the truth of the matter is, what Holden and me, nah, nah, he's still got it bad for you. I'm not looking for him to give me a little tumble, and that is the truth, I promise. He hooked you up with Denise. He didn't have to do that. I believe it. I believe if you just say the word, then Holden would forget about me immediately. No. I tried that before, and I, I denied my feelings for Simon, and it didn't work then. It's not going to work now. Even now that Simon is hooked up with Katie? I should have married Simon. That would have solved everything. Then we could have switched... But... No. Some problems don't have easy solutions. You're right. You're right. Yes. You're absolutely... You're 100% right. And I think I've said enough now. So, uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, yeah. Watch out for that Katie. She's got more moves than a basket of snakes. I remember that. Thanks. Anytime. Hey. Thought I heard you talking to someone. Thought Agent Hallowell might be checking up on us already. No, it's just a customer. Ooh, nice scotch. Yeah, yeah, it was a uh, Christmas gift. He, uh, he insisted that you and I make a toast. Really? Everyone loves you. Yeah, so how's it, how's it going on in there? Oh, the new on. color on the walls is making such a difference. I would have kept painting, but I realized it's dinner time. Uh, how does beef bourguignon sound? That sounds great. Where do we get some? I'll make it. Okay, you don't have to do that. We'll, uh, we'll order in pizza or get something like that. Oh, no. Your takeout days are over, Mr. Frazier. I am going to cook you the best home-cooked meals. That isn't necessary. It's fun. Katie, I thought we talked about this. Hi, Agent Hallowell. Just thought I'd drop by to see how you love birds were doing. Oh, we couldn't be better, right, baby? This guy was just trying to talk me out of making him dinner. Is he the best husband or what? I could tell you guys something. That Madame Jolene, she does not come cheap because I had to pay extra for that painting spell. Yeah, okay, listen, I'm feeling a lot of negative energy in the room. Perhaps we should cleanse our souls. How about a beer? There was no call for you to be so rude to her and hustle her out of here that way. Really, Jake, she was just doing her job, a job that we asked her, paid her to do, and you shuffled her out of here like she was a quack. And now we're not going to be able to contact Victoria again. <sighs> You seem to be pretty knowledgeable about this, about this, uh, ghost stuff. Do you think you can come up with a name for me? What kind of a name? Well, Ab Abigail says you, you surf the net. I mm -hmm. must know a lot of professional ghostbusters. Oh, yeah, only the best. Mm, Great. What are you doing here? Well, all this Madame Jolene can offer, assuming she isn't a fake, is if Vicky's out there, and that's just not, that's not good enough for me. I saw her too, Jake. You know, then you have the tape. Well, that's not good enough for me either. Now, no offense, but I think it's, I think it's time that I face this. I, uh... I want to see Vicky myself. 